Well, a very, very good evening to you and welcome to Idea World. My name is Genevieve and it is a pleasure to have your company on this very special hour. This is an hour dedicated to planning for the future. And when you think about planning for the future, you think about you're going to plan for maybe a holiday, a big birthday, Christmas time. We plan for a lot of things, but one thing we don't plan for is end of life. And it's a very positive thing to do. It's a very proactive thing to do as well, because what you've worked for all your life, you want to know that it's left to the people you want to have it. You know that you want your funeral wishes to be carried out in a certain way. And as we will learn in this hour, it's not always guaranteed unless we specifically let someone like the planning crowd know that you want this to be done. A lot of people put off making their wills or lasting power of attorneys, and it's always, we'll do it tomorrow, we'll do it the next day. But you know what? As this show continues throughout this hour, you'll see how important it is to plan it right now. A lot of people say it's cathartic. It's a weight off your shoulders. And I think you'll learn about that tonight as well. We are with the planning crowd to learn all about wills and lasting power of attorneys and what a positive difference it can make for you and your family. Let me introduce you to the lovely Ian Peace, director, and Helen Hill, a legal services director as well. Thanks. It's lovely to have your company here. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Um, now, uh, we're going to be asking a lot of questions about, of course, um, wills and lasting power of attorneys throughout the show, but um, also, of course, uh, award-winning Helen. That's what we, we call uh, Helen now, <laughs> award-winning Helen. I believe, of course, <laughs> that you have won an award, which is incredible. Yeah, thank you. Um, we've actually Actually, as a company, been um, shortlisted and recognised for for innovation of the year recently, and that's in the National Wills and Probate Awards. So it's something we're really proud of. Oh, congratulations to the planning crowd for that also, and and I believe you know we have to say that I Do World <laughs> played a part as well. So we're really proud to to bring these hours as well to our viewers. That's right. It yeah. was all about um, taking our services uh, to new audiences um, and opening up and making making them accessible to more people. And thanks to our relationship with your Ideal World, we've been able to do that. So now just going to take a look as well at the Probate Awards. Uh, very proud to be able to tell you about this with the planning crowd. You can see there, of course, the British Wills and Probate Awards 2018. Now, Ian, the planning crowd does so much more than wills, um, doesn't it? I mean, can you expand on the services that you offer? Yeah, as a company, we offer a full range of legal services. Obviously, primarily, um, our focus is wills and lasting power of attorney and helping people in, in that area. Um, but as part of that, we offer this full range of legal services, sometimes conveyancing is required to help people achieve what they want to achieve. We also, somewhat sadly, have a very, very busy court of protection department as well. That's where people haven't got lasting powers of attorney, and I'm sure we're going to cover that as the yes, show moves yes. on. Um, but a raft of services, even down to a bereavement service, because we understand it isn't just about making a will today. It's about actually being there to help the family and the loved ones that are left behind actually deal with that. And so we offer a full range of services that basically looks after our clients from day one until, mm -hmm. until the point of need. I'm going to show you that list of services right now as well, just so you can peruse over this wills, LPAs, trust, probet, SCLP, trust administration, conveyancing, bereavement also, HMLR, uh, deed of variation, trustee support and advanced directive also. Helen, can, there's one thing that uh, we hear a lot about is uh, the use of trust. Can you yeah. elaborate a little bit more for me about that? Yeah, they're becoming really popular because people are starting to understand how um, effective they can be in passing assets on. So it's a different way of passing assets to your chosen beneficiaries. So you can leave things in trust for them um, and the trustees can manage those assets in the beneficiary's best interest. So it might be um, that you want your children to inherit, but you're concerned about the timing of that inheritance, whether it will be the right time for them to receive a lot of money, um, whether it would be better drip fed to them over a period of time. Trust can do all those kind of things. And, and we manage a lot of trust funds for our clients. We've got about 350 million pounds worth of trust assets that we actively manage on a daily basis. So you can see that they're becoming really popular. And also, of course, Ian, uh, I know we'll be talking about wills, we'll be talking about lasting power of attorney in depth as well as the show goes on. Uh, but also, just from talking to you earlier, um, I think the viewers would love to know about uh, the probate and the bereavement services that you offer. 
Yeah, that, that is the point of need that we talk about. Obviously, the, f the first thing to do, the important thing to do is decide to make a will. That's, that's really the key thing here is, is decide that you want to do this and, and get it done. And then everything else is so much easier because we see both sides of the coin. You see, we deal with families that where the, the person that's passed away hasn't done any planning and we see the problems that that can create and the family arguments and fallouts. Um, and then we deal with, with someone where they have planned and that's where our bereavement service and even our probate and estate administration department um, help the families then deal with everything. So like I said, it's not just about making a will, it's about being there for the clients throughout the, throughout basically the rest of their lives until the point of need. And sadly, we, we are very busy every day in the probate department. But if we could show people a crystal ball and show them what their families would have to deal with if they haven't planned versus just taking half an hour out of the day to put some plans in place, I don't know anyone that would leave the family without plans in place. So pick up the phone and do something brilliant for your family today. Absolutely, and we will be talking about uh, the fantastic offers, and I believe the last time we'll be doing those offers as well. We'll, we'll talk about those in just a few moments. Um, we mentioned lasting power of attorney at the, uh, at the very beginning of the show, and I know we're going to talk a lot more about that and how interesting it is and, and how important it is, um, and also about wills. But for now, Helen, can I just ask, why would our viewers choose you to write their wills? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a choice within the market, but we like to think that the service we provide is second to none, really. Um, not only are the staff all highly qualified and trained, so you can be sure that the person you're speaking to um, has been through this a lot with a lot of different clients and can give you the right kind of advice. Um, we hold professional indemnity insurance. We're members of the Institute of Professional Will Writers. All the things that you would expect from a professional estate planner. But I think for us, it's also about the client journey yeah. um, and the customer experience. Um, and what we pride ourselves in doing is making sure our service is tailored to every individual. Right. So everyone works at different speeds. You know, Some people know exactly what they want straight away. For other people, they'll want to think about things. They'll want to talk it through with their family. We can take it at their pace and we'll hold their hand all the way through. We'll ask all the questions, we'll guide them, because there'll be a lot of people who know they need to do something, but aren't sure where to start. And we can help with that today. And that's, I think, so important for a lot of people watching right now, because we will talk about later maybe why people, you know, put things like this on. I think they think, well, where do I start? Who do I talk to? You know, what, you know, what do I need? And we're going to talk all about that for you as well. But we do need to talk about the offers here. Now, this is incredible. Uh, I do have to let you know, this is the last time that yeah. uh, we're going to be giving those offers to you from the planning crowd. Uh, so just take a look at this, because I think people put it off as well because they think, Oh, it's going to be very expensive and um, you can see there uh, the uh, the uh, prices and the offers remember for the last time and uh, now family and state will 59 pounds uh, from 139 pounds that's down to 59 pounds and that's for the last time uh, 1475 now you can have those flexible payment options if you want to and it's only just four that's it and it's all done for you. And you're saving 80 pounds there. Now, PNA lasting power of attorney, 325 pounds, 179 pounds is the offer. Plus, you can break, divide that up into four flexi pays as well, a 44 is 75, is saving yourself 146 pounds. And also a will, PNA and LPA. And if you think, oh, what's all that? We will be talking about all of that during the show. Uh, that's usually 464 pounds, is now 199 pounds and of course you can further break that up into those flexible payments of 49.75 saving 265 pounds and you also have got a beautiful gift as well uh, the lovely uh, the wallet the notebook and of course the pen uh, when but that's worth 29.99 uh, with the pna lasting power of attorney if you do want to uh, chat about that to the lovely people in lincoln the number is 0333 600 600 now if you'd rather request a call back you can do that as well uh, to get a call back from the planning crowd Text the word WILL to 66777 and the lovely people at Lincoln will give you a call back and you really don't need anything. Just um, just a cup of tea if you want and that's it really. Um, I always say you don't need to uh, start going upstairs and going into the shoe boxes and getting all the forms and writing everything down. You don't have to do anything like that but what I would say is do, do avail of these fantastic offers as well. 
Helen, it's quite a range of services you offer. Uh, you must be able to meet most people's needs from this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, everyone's circumstances are different. Um, everyone has different families and different requirements and different wishes. Um, whatever they are, it's likely that we've seen something similar before. There's not much that we come across that we haven't dealt with. Um, so yes, we can meet, meet most people's needs and be able to do that for them. And Dean, I just mentioned the client care team in Lincoln as well. Can you tell me a little bit more about them? Yeah, they're a great team. Um, as Helen just said, their, their experience, their, um, it, it's, it's extremely rare for us to come across a scenario that we've not come across before. We had some brilliant feedback just this week from a client where she didn't quite know where to start because she'd got, a, in her mind, it was really complicated because sadly she's got a disabled daughter. Um, she's recently been widowed but with a new partner and what she wanted to achieve in her mind seemed really, really uh, complicated. Um, but of course we've seen that scenario before and so we were able to talk to her about what options she got and at the end of it, it was much, much simpler. And we find that a lot. We find people mm. who think their situation is going to be complicated. We actually find it quite simple is perhaps an overstatement, yeah. but we can help them out. And then the people who say, oh, mine's going to be dead easy, are the ones where we're right, okay, we really need to help work on this one. Mm. Um, but the important thing is don't put it off because you think it might be difficult or you think it might be laborious because I promise you the client care team is so well trained, so well qualified and more importantly they're able to give you the right advice and then you can make an informed decision on what you do because at the end of the day it's about you as the customer, it's what you want to achieve so we basically take the lead from you, you tell us what you want to do and we show you the best way of doing it. That's wonderful. So you literally hold our hands all the way through. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And uh, I just mentioned as well, I'm sure there are people at home thinking, I'll make the call, but I think I'm going to need a lot of information and I've got to gather it all together. What do people need to do? You don't need to do any of that. You don't even need to know um, what you want to go in your documents at this stage. All you need to do today is make the decision to do something. Take advantage of the offers. This is the last time that we're going to be running these offers, so it's really important that they take advantage of it. But you don't need to know anything. You just need to give us a call, send us a text, and we'll get in touch with you. At that stage, we'll send you some information so that you can start thinking about what you want to happen, and then we'll make an appointment at a time that's convenient to you, and then we'll talk you through it. We'll hold your hand. We won't produce your documents until you're 100% happy with the instructions that you've given to us and that you understand everything that we're doing on your behalf. So you don't need to know anything today apart from the fact that you want to do this. You want to take this important yeah. step and put it in place. So literally just pick up the phone that's or all you need text to do. Will and that's all you have to do yeah. today. Yeah. Ian, can I ask you, why do you think people just don't get around to making their wills? I think it's like that feedback we had this week. I think people do think perhaps it might be complicated. Yeah. I think some people have it in their mind that it might be quite morbid or a bit dark, and it's actually far from that. Um, and I think people think that it's, it's going to take a, an age to get sorted yeah. out. Um, give us a try, because that, all of that, we, we often find that most people at the end of the consultation say, well, that was much easier than I thought it would be. And... And there is this, uh, this relief, I think, that people have where they're like, oh, do you know what, I've been meaning to do a will for years and I've never quite got around to it. And now, I, now I've done that, I can put a tick in that box and I, I can move on. Um, you used the word at the start of the show, cathartic, and I think that's right for a lot of people. It's like, great, I've done that now. You know, it's Christmas time. Mm -hmm. it, it's a great gift for your family, honestly. I know you do, you do it yourself and, and you can take some peace of mind that I've looked after my family. But I promise you, you won't be here, so it's the gift that you leave behind for your oh. family. And the difference it makes is absolutely phenomenal. So do something really selfless and do something brilliant. Just decide to make the call. It's absolutely. a really important decision. Yeah. And, and um, I'll, I'll tell you my story a bit later on as well, um, where you know, sort of, I can completely understand what you're saying about how important it is for your family. It really is. And, and Helen, you, you, know, you were saying it's really important to make a will. Uh, can you explain why it's so important? Yeah, people don't understand the consequences of not doing it. And I think that's what we really want to get across today as well, um, so that people are making informed decisions. Um, a will is such a powerful document. Yes, it obviously deals with the distribution of your estate, but it does important things as well, like it allows you to choose who your executors are and they are the people that are actually going to be able to sort all this out for you mm. and to a lot of people it's really important that they know and they trust those people to do the right thing. Um, the will can also appoint guardians for children so if you've got young children it's really important that you've got a will in place so that those wishes are well known. 
um, even down to how people inherit. So if you've got children and you want them to inherit, you might not want them to inherit at 18. You might want them to, to their funds to be kept safe until they're 25. You know, things, things like discussing your funeral wishes. So many people don't talk about it. They don't have conversations. You can document it all in your will. So if you find it difficult to talk about, at least they'll know what you want to happen and that's one of the key things that we find when people haven't planned the family is so upset because they just don't know what that person would have wanted yeah. so many things within a will that you can do even passing on heirlooms family heirlooms yes. charitable thing, gifts though, yeah absolutely there well, might be something i want my daughter to have my jewelry i want my son to have my watch that kind of thing is yeah. huge and again it, it, it removes the need for arguments because your wish is there in black and white, it's clear what you wanted to do. Such a selfless thing, and yeah. it's so easy mm. to do. And yeah, so, like you said, there's so many other parts to making a will as well. Things like your funeral wishes, which is so important for you and for your family yeah. to know what you would have wanted. Ian, what happens then if you pass away without a valid will in place? Well, all those things that Helen's just talked about, None of that happens, unfortunately. You said the technical terms you said to have died in test state, and that comes from a set of rules called the rules of intestacy. So basically, if you decide that you're not going to make a will, you're actually by default making two decisions. If you decide you're not going to write a will for yourself, mm -hmm. you're accepting the government will, which is this rules of intestacy, which was originally uh, produced in 1925. And after you've passed away, the first question these rules ask is, is were you married or in a civil partnership? and then it'll ask a series of other questions until it gets to a destination. And that destination is where your estate goes. And more often than not, that isn't what people want to happen. No. And certainly today, in, in 2018, we're a long way from 1925, it's not unusual for a family unit for people to be on the second relationship, to perhaps have children from previous relationships, so children together. And the rules of intestacy just does not cater for that. And we see it every day, sadly, where people are disinherited that we're expecting to, to, to benefit from the parents just because the parents didn't take the time to plan. Um, and it's such an easy thing to do, but unfortunately, no one wakes up on a Saturday morning and goes to the internet and says, what happens when I pass away? So they don't know until it's too late. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I'm saying to anybody who's thinking about doing it, don't put it off because mm. honestly, it's a really, really brilliant thing that you can do Isn't for your family. It though? Yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And when you look at uh, the, I, I know a lot of us might think, oh, if anything happens to me, it'll just all go to, you know, so and so. It, it, that's not the case. It's dangerous thought. That. It is, isn't yeah. it? And I think so many people think that way. Oh, it'll just go to my park. It'll just go. But I just want you to take a look at this. Uh, the government will, uh, because there are no executors. Children inherit at 18. That's it. There's no choice. Children may become a ward of court. The rules of intestacy dictate who inherits. There's no provision for cash gifts or heirlooms. And funeral wishes and organ donation is not catered for. We just said, you know, that a lot of people will assume, you know, that your partner will inherit everything. If you passed away suddenly, they'll take care of everything. But what would happen to children if the worst case scenario, if both parents passed away without a valid will? Yeah, I mean, like, like you said there, it's, <clears throat> it's a bad enough thing thinking that your partner's going to inherit everything. Just to clarify, these rules of intestacy from 1925, they make no provision for an unmarried partner. So if you're with a partner and you're not married, whether you live together, whether you've been together 30 years, whether you've got children together, the intestacy provisions make no provision for that person, so it's really important that these people in that situation mm -hmm. make a will, really important. Um, if you have got young children and you don't appoint guardians in your will, you're basically leaving it for t someone to step forward and say, I'll look after the kids, I'll take the kids. Um, it might be that there are multiple people in the family that then get into an argument, well, you know, they would have wanted the kids to be with us, yeah. or. Yeah. Or worse, the kids might end up with someone that you wouldn't want to look after them. You know, it's really important to parents that they choose someone who's got the same values mm. or are in the same area so that the kids don't have to move schools or lose their friends at what would just be an awful time for them anyway. The worst thing that can happen is that you get these arguments or there's no one to look after the kids and actually that's when children become a ward of court and they actually get taken in and, and cared for while it's all resolved. So that's the worst case scenario. Um, and it's such a simple thing to sort out. All so avoidable. Easy. All yeah. avoidable with that's a very quick it. phone call.
all well, avoidable. Right. Yeah. And it's just, you know, uh, th like we were saying on the show, it's a phone call, it's a, it's a text message away um, to avoid anything like that happening. And, you know, when it's made so easy by the planning crowd as well. And I do have to talk about the offers because, you know, this is the last time, by the way, that uh, these offers will be available from the planning crowd. And I just want to show those to you again, because when you, I think this, especially when we're talking about children and everything like this, I think it sort of makes us sit up and think, hang on a minute. You know, I didn't realize that a government will actually doesn't cater for any of that. So I want to show you those offers again. Um, now, these are exclusive deals. Family and estate will, which usually be £139, is now £59 last time. Uh, last chance on that, £14.75. Remember, and of course, uh, that is uh, for flexible payments. And it's just four months. You don't have to pay this every, every month for years. This is literally just four months, saving £80 there. Now, uh, P&A, lasting power of attorney uh, on its own 325 pounds now 179 pounds and of course you've got the option to use flexible payments of 44.75 saving 146 pounds and um, very popular by the way is the will uh, pna and the lpa as well lasting power of attorney 464 pounds is 199 pounds and you can divide that into the four flexible payments of 49.75 saving 265 pounds i also just want to remind you of the gift that you get to, if you do go for the lasting power of attorney the will and lasting power of attorney together and um, is of course the wallet uh, you've also got notebook and the pen as well so a lovely gift there for you also so not only are you giving your family uh, the gift of peace of mind and yourself but you'd also get this as well now to avail of those offers uh, the details on the bottom of the screen slightly different number to usual as 0333 600 to 600 or of course text the word will to 6677 Seven. Now, uh, just uh, let's have uh, a reminder as well of some of the things that you will be in control of when you make your own will. Wow, that's so different to the government will, isn't it? So this is making your own will. You choose your own executors and trustees. You choose at what age your children or grandchildren inherit. You document who you want to be the guardians of your children. You decide who inherits from your estate, not the rules of intestacy. Just as importantly, you can document who you don't want to inherit. You can leave specific gifts, legacies and charitable donations. You specify your funeral wishes and you can document your organ donation preferences. That's making your own will. What a difference. Helen, um, what, do, uh, what do our viewers need to do in order to take advantage of these, these, and these are the last time on these offers as well? Yeah, they just need to contact us. You know, they don't have to do anything else. Um, like I said, they'll, they'll get some information, they'll be given some things to think about. Um, if they speak to us today, we'll simply note their interests, secure the offer for them, and then we'll make sure that we make an appointment at a convenient time to go through it all. So they don't need to do anything today except contact us. Don't let these offers slip by. No. Make sure you get in touch and Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. And Ian, you know, clearly wills are so very important, just comparing it to the government will and making your own will. Yeah. But we're not just talking about end of life planning. Uh, we uh, talk about lasting power of attorney. So that, how does that fit into our estate planning needs? I think most people have heard of a will and they understand that perhaps they need one and obviously a will is going to deal with everything that you've, you've um, got for yourself over your lifetime. So everything you've worked hard for, the will is going to distribute that according to your wishes and that's why that's so important. But if you think about everything that you've worked hard for and everything that you've got, if something horrible happens to you before you pass away, so you lose capacity, mm -hmm. uh, big in the news at the moment is obviously we're all living longer and people are suffering from dementia. And I mm -hmm. think actually um, dementia sadly has become one of the biggest killers now in the UK. It's yeah. overtaken uh, heart disease. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're unfortunate enough to lose capacity through illness or through an accident, is who looks after your estate then? Who deals with everything that we take for granted? And that's where a lasting power of attorney fits into this type of planning. The will deals with the inevitable, the lasting power of attorney deals with the what if scenario. I, I live my life very much by, I plan for the worst, I go to a dark place for a few seconds, think what's the worst that could happen? Right, I'll plan for that, but then I'll hope for, for the best. And that really is what a lasting power of attorney is. So if life throws you a curveball, is you've made a brilliant decision to actually have a document in place that will make a really bad time just that little bit easier um, and that's how it fits in. And Helen can you can you explain to us and we, what, we'll call it an LPA for short as well the lasting power of attorney. It's just lazy Jen, <laughs> just lazy, <laughs> abbreviations. I thought it was quite, yeah. <laughs>
Uh, lasting power of attorney, Alan. Can you, can you explain what it is to our viewers? Yeah, so um, there are two types of LPA. Um, there's a health and welfare, um, which basically allows you to appoint someone called an attorney who can then make decisions on your behalf in respect of your health and welfare. So things like where you live, what medical treatment you get, um, how you're cared for. The one we're talking about today is a property and affairs LPA. So this is the one that deals with all the finances. So if you think about all the institutions you deal with on a daily basis, what would happen if you are not able to contact them, if you're not able to speak to them yourself? This is a really important document that basically puts someone in your shoes and gives somebody the authority to speak to people on your behalf and make decisions and access things for you. So, you know, if you find yourself in those circumstances where you can't um, claim benefits, for example, for yourself um, or manage your investments or deal with HMRC or anything like that, this document means that somebody's got that authority to act on your behalf. Without it, there isn't that, that power in place and it becomes very complicated, all really easily solved with this document. Yeah. So Ian, I'm, do, I'm just going to ask you sort of the same question as well. Why is it so important to have a lasting power of attorney? But what happens if you haven't drafted one? Uh, I think what we're trying to get over here is that if you plan, you take control of what's going to happen if something terrible happens to you, either you lose capacity or, or obviously we're all going to pass away at some point. As importantly, I think it's, it's really important to understand what happens if you don't plan and you leave things to chance. If you don't have a will, you're going to get the rules of intestacy, and that, for the vast majority of people, just doesn't work and creates a mess. If, sadly, you don't uh, have a lasting power of attorney in place and something happens to you, then the only route that your loved ones can go down is something called uh, the Court of Protection. They have to apply for what's called a deputship order. Now, I mentioned at the start of the show that actually that department is really, really busy, which is actually quite sad. Um, but necessary because unfortunately if, if if I lost capacity yesterday and I'd not given my power of attorney over to the people that I love to look after my affairs literally the only route they can take is to go to the court protection and say I need to have access to Ian's bank account to be able to do this to do that because we do take for granted when we wake up in the morning we throw the quilt back and we just get on with our lives yeah. and we pick up a phone we do that we pay that bill we move that money around we just get on with our lives but if suddenly suddenly someone said to you you can't make a phone call and you can't get out of bed who actually does all that stuff? And again, we have the similar myth with lasting powers of attorney that we do with wills, like, oh, everything will be okay. And that is a really dangerous thought because it, it really isn't. If anyone's ever tried to speak to an institution where they're not the account holder, the first thing you'll get is data protection, and rightly so. I couldn't walk into your bank, despite our very close relationship, Jen. <laughs> I couldn't walk into your bank and say, oh, I'm friends with Jen, and sadly something's happened and I need to access some money. Of course they're going to say no. But if I walked into your bank with your lasting power of attorney that said EMP is my attorney, they know that you trust in me to be able to do things for you. Right away there's a huge difference. Having a lasting power of attorney in place means you choose who you want to look after you or look after your affairs. Yeah. So it's someone that you trust. And it can also be used pretty much immediately. It has to be registered with something called the Office of the Public Guardian. But compared to the Court of Protection route, the lasting power of attorney is good to go. Yeah. You go the court mm. protection route and at best you'll probably have a better idea, 9 to 12 months. Yeah, it's about and that. literally, and this is no exaggeration, we're talking about a, a couple of hundred pound on these offers for a lasting power of attorney. It's thousands through the court protection and months. So again, when I talk about planning for the worst and hoping for the best, my wife and I have both got lasting powers of attorney, hoping that we never need to use them. But if life does throw us that curveball, they're there and they're ready to go. So don't take that chance. And you know, it's uh, everything you say resonates so much. I'm sure with so many people watching right now, uh, and also with myself. And I, I did say, you know, I've got personal experience of that. Um, uh, you know, when my loved ones, you know, sort of with my father, he actually was, you know, diagnosed with dementia. And the thing about that is you never expect it to be you. You never expect it to be you to be the one that is dealing with it. It's just it, sometimes it's somebody else. and You feel terrible for them and it's awful, but does it happen to you? Um, and when I say, you know, it's such a very, very important thing to do for your loved ones, I, re I, I was one of those loved ones that unfortunately, you know, didn't get around to it. Do it tomorrow. It'll be fine. Um, and I know that, you know, sort of when my parents went through this, we talk about the court of protection. And yes, at a really, really difficult time, 
all of this has to be done as well. Someone has to, you know, write down why, why they should be this person's you know, sort of guardian, why they should be able to, and they have to explain themselves, you know, and your parents might be together 50 years, you might be with your partner 55, 60 years, and all of a sudden you have to explain why, um, you know, that they, you have the right to access a bank account to pay a bill. And that's why I think from, you know, just, just listening to Ian and learning so much more about it, and also with the wills, if, if someone passes away and they don't leave their funeral wishes, how, how do you know? How do, how do your loved ones know what you want? And then they're guessing and hoping, would she have liked that? Would he have liked that? I don't know. I always think it's such an emotional time in, in anyone's life when all those emotions are raw that you have to deal with something that could have been dealt with you know sort of years ago or could have been dealt with you know and someone else could have done it for you I really do believe it's so very very important and, and that's just my personal experience and that's why uh, you know these shows are so important you know so when we talk about what happens to your loved ones it's um it's quite a big deal actually to do this for them it really is and we talked about the LPAs there we're just going to look at how they work but you know just make that call just pick up the phone and, and, and text you know, will to you know as well if you want to six six seven seven seven. Just have a chat about it. That's it. The chosen attorney can open, close, and operate any account containing money. Please don't assume you can do that without an LPA. Please don't think you can. Uh, you can buy, sell, and lease property, claim pensions, benefits, allowances, financial contributions, repayments, and rebates. You can pay household bills, manage investments, deal with HMRC. And when you read that list, you probably think, oh, God, I thought I could do that anyway. You can't unless you have that power of attorney. Essentially, you choose someone you trust to manage your affairs. And in the eyes of the institutions and companies that they deal with, they become you. And it's just that call that you make. And, and I know a lot of times you think, well, is it going to be expensive? And I'm not sure if I can do that at this time of year. Take a look at the offers. And that's the last time uh, that uh, we're going to be doing this offer. So do take advantage. Seize the opportunity. Family and state will is now £59. We're saving £80. And you can choose flexible payment options. Uh, P&A, lasting power of attorney, which we just spoke about as well, £179. And there's a saving there of £146. Also, you've got flexible payments. And a will, uh, P&A, lasting power of attorney, £199. Uh, you've got flexible payments of £49.75. You're saving £265. Now, you can call the number in the bottom of the screen, 0333 600 to 600. Or, if you find it easier, text will to 66777. And some lovely person at the team, uh, the planning crowd, will call you back. Helen... Why should our viewers speak to the planning, planning crowd well, uh, about producing lasting powers of attorneys rather than anyone else? Yeah, I mean, we've been producing LPAs for our clients since they were first introduced in, in 2007. Um, and we were dealing with enduring powers of attorney before that. So we've got vast experience in this. Um, the document itself, um, it, it can trip people up because there are free text boxes that ask you things like what directions you want to give your attorney um, and guidance and things like that. If you put something in there that the Office of the Public Guardian don't approve of, they won't actually register that document. Um, there was a report at the beginning of this year um, that showed that you know, 15% of, of documents produced by solicitors are rejected by the Office of the Public Guardian mm. at the time of need. So they're registering these documents and people need them and they're being rejected. Um, we're very proud of the fact that we've never had an LPA rejected by the OPG. So that's something we're really yes, proud of. What we do for the clients as well is um, not only do we produce these documents, but one of the things that trip people up the most is the signing of the documents. They have to be signed in a specific order and dated correctly um, and your attorneys have to sign at the right time and in the right place and Ooh. it's quite a complicated thing to, to get right. So what we do is we then invite the clients to, to send those documents back to us so that we can check them and we can validate them so that they know that if they are ever needed and they do ever need to be registered that they will be accepted by the OPG. And I think that's really important. Why go to the trouble and make the decision to do something so amazing for your family and then not do it properly? So speak to us. We'll make sure that happens for you. My word. And Ian, just to ask you as well, in your opinion, why should everyone have a lasting power of attorney? 
It's planning for the worst and hoping for the best. Yeah. I think you mentioned it's always a shock when something bad happens to you. Because yeah. everyone, and understandably, it's human nature, everything's going to happen to somebody else. Of course, yes. um, sadly, we're all somebody else to somebody else. Um, and we all know that life can be cruel and throw a curveball. So I always come back to planning for the worst and hoping for the best. You know, we're, we're quite a large, large company, and so we see lots and lots of people going through the court protection process. Um, it doesn't take very many people. Most people know of someone who suffered with something like dementia mm -hmm. or has lost capacity. Um, and you don't have to think that far until you meet that person. So just hope it's never you, but have a lasting power and attorney in place in case it is. Because the difference between planning and not is absolutely huge. And sometimes you just want to try and show people the difference. Um, it is absolutely, the gulf is massive. I, I, you know, I hope nothing ever happens to me or my wife, but we put those lasting powers of attorney in place because then we can forget about them and know that if we are unfortunate, that they're there and they're good to go. And it'll be the best waste of money we've ever had if they're yeah. never used. <laughs> yeah. So my advice is don't take the chance, have it. And you know what? If you never use it, it is the best money you've ever spent. Absolutely, yes. The, the reality of this is nothing Nothing is going to make losing capacity or passing away any better. Those are both horrible things, but can happen. Putting plans in place means that they don't get worse. What we yeah. see, sadly, is if people haven't planned, losing capacity or passing away without planning, things can and do get worse. But where people have got a lasting power of attorney, where people have made a will, that awful time isn't compounded. You said it's emotional. Of course it is. Yeah. Planning is so selfless because you don't make things worse at a really bad time. Mm -hmm. So do something great for your family. Do something really selfless. Four no triple three six hundred two six hundred. And Helen, why should our viewers take advantage of these offers and not put it off any longer? Well, firstly, because we're not going to run these offers again. Yes. So it really yes. is the last chance <laughs> to be able to do that. But I think also people don't understand what powerful documents um, an LPA mm. is. Yeah. Um, and they can be used for all sorts of reasons. So obviously we talk about Alzheimer's and dementia and losing capacity mm -hmm. and you know that is in the news and everywhere but these documents can also be used if you permit your attorney to act while you still have capacity. So as soon as they're registered, they can still be used. Um, I had a brilliant client the other day who said, I need to get LPAs in place and I need to get them registered because next summer I'm going on a six month cruise but I, you know, I've, I've got dealings here, I've got investments that need to be managed, I need to appoint someone to be able to do that when I'm not here. So I was like, great, what a brilliant, brilliant way to Six do month that. Six-month cruise? So, yeah. Is that you, Jen? Yeah, fantastic. Of course it was. Oh. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> but they, they, you know, you can use them in all sorts of circumstances, so it, it's not necessarily worst case scenario. Have the documents there, and then if you do ever need them, for whatever reason, they're available then. The alternative is awful. That's, that's the reality of it. The alternative is awful. Exactly. We all spend money insuring all kinds of things. Yes. And, and don't misunderstand, the lasting power of attorney isn't an insurance policy, but it's not unlike one. You know, we insure our boilers, we insure our phones, we spend all this money month in, month out. We pay a load of money just to watch TV. So you can pay a very small amount of money, typically less than probably you're insuring your phone for, and have this incredibly valuable document in place. And as I said, just hope, therefore, that you never need to use it. Absolutely, and, and, and talking about the costs as well, um, what happens then if uh, you know, a family member loses capacity, they don't have a lasting power of attorney in place? So it is an application to the Court of Protection. The application is a really lengthy process. I mean, as we mentioned, the time scale that you're looking at is kind of 9 to 12 months. It takes a long time to get this application through. It's also a really difficult application. There are masses of forms, um, supplementary forms. There's lots of free text boxes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you mentioned in your experience that you actually had to justify why you were exactly. the right person. Yes. The person who's applying to act on this on the person who's lost capacity's behalf, they have to prove that they're a worthy person of doing it, which means that they undergo a financial assessment um, and have to give all those kind of details, yeah. which, you know, you can imagine when you awful. when you want to act for someone who, who needs assistance, mm -hmm. to have to go through that is really awful. You also have to get a medical assessment for the person who's lost capacity, and that can add money onto what's already expensive. I mean, the application fee itself is £385. So with just yeah. that, and then you've got ongoing supervision fees. So every year 
the court are supervising what you're doing. So you have to provide accounts to show what you're doing with this person's money and they actually charge you for the benefit of reviewing these accounts for you. So it's kind of never ending. If they ask for a hearing with the, with the court as well, that's an extra £500. So these costs just stack up and up and up. Keep oh, mounting. They do, don't they? In some cases, I think they ask the person who was, who was trying to be selfless and become a deputy. In some cases, they ask them to put their own money up, don't they, in the form of a bond as well. In they have to so. take out a bond, yeah, which is effectively an insurance policy, um, which is based on the size of the estate yeah. of the person they're yeah. managing, um, which basically says if you run off with this money, there's a policy in place that will pay it all back. So you can imagine... It's a very, you know, you're very trusting to process, as you can see. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And costly. Let's take a look at uh, the details of the costs involved. Um, so this is, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's shocking really, isn't it? Uh, application fee, £385, and that's just the beginning. The assessment fee is £100, then the hearing fee, £500, supervision fee, £320, and that's a total of £1,305. And as we mentioned, of course, the medical evidence is often required for the first applications and can be a, an additional cost in the region of £500. These figures exclude any professional fees that may be incurred. In to avoid these fees and set up a lasting power of attorney today, what do our viewers need to have ready right now? They just need a working phone and yeah. the will to use it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not being flippant, you know, make that, that decision. It really is a selfless thing to do because if you've got a lasting power of attorney in place, if it is needed because something bad has happened, you're probably unaware of it, but your family will be very much aware of it and glad you've got it. Because it is the difference of, if you phone 333 600 2600 now and, and take advantage of these offers for the last time and do this document, if it's ever needed, your family will be so grateful. Yeah. Because they'll know that it can be registered with the Office of Public Guardian and in a matter of weeks, you can take over their affairs. So, you know, there isn't this, this 9 to 12 month drama, there isn't all this expense. So it's a really, really simple thing to do but you've got to pick up the phone and do yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That, that, you know, I, I know that sometimes, and I, I've done it before, you sit there and think, well, I must do that. I must do that. It's so very, very important. Pick up the phone. You don't need anything. Just have a chat with the lovely people in Lincoln, and, and, and that's all you have to do. Uh, and don't put it off, because it, just you saw the, 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 the cost there of the court of protection. And when you see what you can get the will and the lasting power of attorney on these offers for, last time as well, so do take it. You might have been watching the shows uh, for a while, thinking, I, I, you know what, I, I, I must get around to doing that. Now's your chance. Now's your opportunity. Uh, let's take a look at those offers for you right Right now on Ideal World from the planning crowd. Family and estate will, £139 and that of course is now £59 with four flexible payments of £14.75, saving £60. Now uh, P&A lasting power of attorney is £325 usually but the offer tonight for the last time is £179 and you've got flexible payment options there, £44.75, saving £146. And a will and lasting power of attorney together is uh, £464 down to £199, £49.75 and don't forget that lovely gift as well of the, uh, the, the lovely notebook, the folder and of course the, the, the pen as well, all included there for you with, a, with uh, that fantastic prize. Now you can call the number on the bottom of the screen, feel free to to have a chat at 0333 600 to 600 or you can request a call back test will uh, to 66777 that's all you have to do and someone will call you back mrs o'hara did that and let's have a look at what she had to say uh, i watched the show about wills and lasting power of attorney on the ida world shopping channel i had put off making a will as i expected it to be hard work and quite difficult but after watching the show i decided now was the time i was pleasantly surprised as the consul with the planning crowd was actually very simple, easy and straightforward. I would recommend anyone thinking about a will to put it off no longer and make a call to the planning crowd. I'm so glad I did. Now, we did mention the lovely people in Lincoln, of course, the customer client team. And uh, we believe Andy from Lincoln is, has uh, called in from the customer care team. Hello, Andy. Hello, Nick. Hello, Andy. How are you? I'm all good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, and uh, how are things going there in Lincoln at the moment, Andy? A uh, little bit manic at the moment. Uh, just to let them know the lines are all full at the moment and uh, we do have a bit of a queue. Obviously, we just ask people to be patient, but uh, if, if they can, if they can drop us a text, if they're struggling, 
please obviously just reassure everyone uh, that we will get that, that we will be up to half past nine tonight. Uh, but I think there is there is a sense of urgency because of course it, it is the last show. Yes. And uh, and we just urge anyone, you know, even if they make an inquiry, make that inquiry. Uh, so and, and we will speak to you, uh, and we can have a longer conversation if we haven't got you know if we haven't got time tonight. Oh. Very very. Busy. Thank you, Andy. So lots of people, obviously, this has read, the show is resonating with lots of people. Uh, and we do uh, obviously understand that is the last chance on these offers as well. So very, very uh, busy phone lines. Text the word will if you can, everyone. Uh, it's very important to just make that call as well. Any particular questions coming through tonight, Andy? Uh, yes, obviously, we've had obviously, a lot of inquiries after the free gifts. We've had a couple of people trying to buy the free gifts. But just to urge everyone, they are free. They will get them for the will and not the power of attorney. Uh, also, perhaps as well, uh, we do get a lot of questions about registering lasting powers of attorney. Uh, perhaps Helen could just cover that again. Oh, thank you. Andy, I'll let you get back because I'm holding up one of your lines. Uh, so I'll let you get back to chat to people right now. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. Take care, Andy. Thank you very and much. we'll talk soon again. Uh, so just a reminder, yes, the free gift, uh, it, you don't have to buy it. It's free. And uh, <laughs> this is it. It is, of course, the notebook. You get the, uh, the lovely uh, wallet as well. And you get the pen. Now, this is with, of course, the lasting power of Tony and the wills. If you go for that, you will receive uh, this free gift also that Andy was mentioning. Now, also, um, Andy had a question there that I, I'd like to put to you, Helen, about the practicalities. Mm. Yeah, so um, we've mentioned throughout the show, you do have to register your lasting power of attorney with a place called the Office of the Public Guardian right. before it can be used. Um, the important thing is get the document drawn up and in place now because you have to do that while you've got capacity to do so. So as long as the document is all done and signed, um, kept somewhere securely, that's fine. You can register it either now or at some point in the future. So the key thing is getting it done now. When you register it with the Office of the Public Guardian, they do charge a fee for doing that. There is an additional fee that's £82, but there are exemptions available, um, so you might qualify for an exemption. But like I said, the most important thing is making sure the document's in place, and then it can either be registered straight away, which we're quite happy to help you with as well. You know, we, we do offer that as an additional service. Um, or you can just make sure it's stored somewhere safely so that your attorneys have got access to it when it's needed mm -hmm. and then they can register it. The registration process just does take a few weeks, but when you're comparing it to the court of protection where you're looking at nine to 12 months, it's relatively, it's the of an relatively eye, isn't it, really? straightforward. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, and a lot easier yeah. and cheaper. Well, exactly. You're talking about the costs and the time and everything. I mean, there's, it's. There's, yeah. there's, there's no ongoing supervision because, by definition, if I'd chosen you two to be my attorneys, I've, I, whilst I've got capacity, and that's the key here, yeah. is you can only do it today because you yes. don't know what tomorrow brings. Yes. And the, the worst phone calls we get at the office are sadly from people saying, my father, my mother, whatever, is, is, is sadly, uh, they've lost capacity or they've been in an accident and I've now just discovered that I need this lasting power of attorney. We can't do it then. Mm -hmm. You can only do it when you've got capacity, so now. Mm -hmm. um, but the reality of it is with, without it, the, the, the court of protection route is just absolutely horrific. And, and we have a department that just deals with it all the time. So put the lasting power of attorney in place and, and, and hope that you never need to use it. Oh, now, uh, remember, of course, that is the last time for these incredible offers. So do take advantage, just like Mrs. Howell. Let's take a look at what uh, she had to say. Uh, I watched the planning crowd on Ideal World, and I thought that the will and lasting power of attorney were both explained well. As it all sounded straightforward, I decided to make the call and then, and th there and then, and took advantage of the offer. I found the whole process very easy, and Sarah was very helpful during my telephone conversation. After speaking with my chosen attorney, I did have some further questions and these were all answered promptly and completely. I would recommend anyone considering putting their affairs in order to speak with the planning crowd. Thank you so much to, to Mrs. Howell as well. Helen, we talked about the benefits of lasting powers of attorney. Can you talk, tell us again what happens if we don't have those in place? Yeah, so obviously we've talked about the will and the LPA tonight. With a will, you're looking at um, the intestacy rules and we've seen how um, they don't allow you to make decisions for yourself. They're very structured, they're really out of date and they're really not suitable for anybody. 
Um, you can't appoint your own executors, you can't decide when your children inherit, you can't choose who inherits, you can't exclude people, which we see quite a lot where there's somebody in the family that people specifically want to exclude. You can't do that. The rules of intestacy just treat everyone the same. It's a blanket set of rules and it, it's really not flexible at all. It's really difficult. With the lasting power of attorney, of course, if you haven't got that in place, the only route you can go is the court of protection. And I mean, I'll just quickly share a story that we had recently. We had um, a son of a mother who'd sadly lost capacity, who was trying to sell her property because she needed um, care fee funding mm. and he just wanted to look after her. And because he'd had uh, an IVA 10 years ago, mm -hmm. they said he wasn't suitable to be the attorney and the court actually appointed somebody else. Oh my word. Yeah, so the court protection route, it's, you just don't want to go there. You don't want to no, go there. Absolutely. Get the lasting power of attorney in place. It's so simple and so easy. Honestly, it takes about 30 minutes of your time yeah. and then you can put yeah. it away and forget about it. Don't yeah. underestimate the value of control because if you don't take control, you don't put these plans in place, yeah. someone else who's never met you, never met your family is gonna make those decisions for you and that's, and it's not always the right decision. You know, that mother would have obviously wanted a son to of deal course. with a, a, a situation. And sadly, if there was a lasting power of attorney in place, that wouldn't have been questioned. He mm -hmm. wouldn't have had to answer to anybody. He'd have just been able to get on and deal with it. Oh, they really, so they, they dig into everything, don't they? And it's just yeah. at a time again when you're going through your own uh, emotions and all of a sudden you're having to deal yeah. with all of this, the, the court of protection and the cost of it as well. And then with we talked about the wills and again, Helen, the, the comparison between, you know, your own will and the government will, it, it's a massive comparison, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. They're just so different. I mean, you know, even down to documenting your funeral wishes and your organ donation preferences. With the government will, you can't do any of that. There's none of that. If you haven't written it in your will, um, then the government will makes no provision for that down to passing on heirlooms and things like that basically your estate is all lumped together and it's just dealt with under this set of rules you can't you know you can't give that piece of jewelry to your daughter that you know you who wanted it you can't dictate that you know you can't give your record collection to your nephew that you yeah. want to do mm -hmm. there's none of that it just it treats everybody the same there's no individuality in there that, at all that's the key the, the, the weird thing is the rules of intestacy is a free will but if we drafted that as a free will and gave it to our clients and said, there's your free will, 99.9% .9 would say, well, no, that's not what I want to happen. But that's what they've got if they yeah. don't make their own will. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important. The free will doesn't work. Mm -hmm. The rules of intestacy just, it, there's nothing personal about it. There's nothing flexible about it. Mm -hmm. I've worked hard for everything I've got and I want to make sure that it's going to go to the right people at the right time. And that took me very little effort to do. So I'd, anyone thinking about it, anyone thinking, oh, I might do it, don't, don't think I might do it, just do something oh, brilliant yeah. for your don't, family don't today. Don't underestimate how yeah. selfless this is. And, and it sounds weird, but it's an absolutely brilliant thing to do. Oh, it, it is. really is. Yes. Absolutely brilliant. That's why at the start of the show we say this, it's positive. Yeah, you definitely. Know, it's, it's, it's not about, oh, if you, you, know, you should make It's not about that. It's about doing something that is really, really a positive and proactive thing for you and your family. And it avoids having a government will as well. In fact, let's take a look at the uh, massive comparison. So the benefits of making your own will. You choose to administer your estate. Government will, government will, no executors. Uh, you decide at what age your children inherit. In the government will, their children inherit at age 18. You select your guardians with your own will, but children may become a ward of court if you don't make your own will. You choose the beneficiaries and exclusions, which is important to people, and the rules of intestacy with the government will dictate who inherits. You can leave specific gifts. But with a government will, there's no provision for cash gifts or heirlooms. You can document your funeral wishes and organ donation preferences. Your funeral wishes and organ donation is not even catered for. I, you know, just reading that, I think for a lot of people, and I was one of the, you know, you'd sit there and think, oh, you, you know, I know if something happens to my partner, it's fine, everything will go to me. And, 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 and you know, my sister will look after the kids. And you just, you think, you think that happens and then you read that in black and white and it's so different to reality isn't it you can only know what you know there's yeah. a there's a lot of myths surrounding it we've touched on that in the show you know uh, we even hear phrases like well we've been together for 10 years so a common law husband and wife 
And no, you're either married or you're not. Is that black and white? Mm. There's there's no halfway house. If you're married, you're dealt with as if you're married. If you're not, you're dealt with as if you're not. And like I said, in in sort of today's society, it's not unusual for people to be on second relationships, to have children from previous yes. relationships. Yeah. And the rules of intestacy is all about your bloodline. So you know, a couple of clients of mine were really, really surprised, genuinely shocked to learn that the, the children that they've got from previous relationships weren't going to inherit equally now they've been together. They've been together for about 15 years. And they assumed, and understandably so, that when the first one passed away, it was going to go to the surviving spouse. And then when they passed away, it was going to go to their children equally. But it doesn't. It follows the bloodline. So whoever died first, yeah. their child was going to get nothing. And it took about 15 to 20 minutes to actually sort that out and make sure that what they wanted to happen would happen. So it was that easy. So, Ian, who should have a will in Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Don't take the chance. Um, if, if, even if you think you haven't got anything, just making a will and deciding who you want to deal with your affairs, deal with your funeral arrangements, mm -hmm. deal with the administration of your estate. If there's someone that you trust and you want to do that, then make a will just for documenting that. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you've got children or grandchildren, you know, Jeannie and I, we, we don't want our boys to inherit when they're 18. Jeannie's, Jeannie knows what I was like when I was 18, so if our boys are anything like that, giving them money at that age would be ridiculous. You know, so we want them to inherit when they're a little bit older. It comes back to control and planning and doing something great for your family. Don't leave it to chance. Helen, can you remind us uh, why a, a will and a lasting power of attorney is, is so important and such amazing value as well tonight? I mean, it's... <laughs> When we've looked at the cost of not doing it, and hopefully the message we've got is, is the consequences of not taking any action, when you weigh that up against the cost of doing it, and you know, these offers, they're not, they're not going to be around again. These, this is the last time we're going to run them, so please pick up the phone and, and take advantage. Um, but you know, it's just, it's so important. And this time of year, people are speaking to their families, they're all getting yeah. together, they're all having conversations. How nice would it be just to let them know, I've put this in place so that you're gonna be okay. You're not gonna have to go through all these things. What a selfless thing things. to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at the offers for the last time. Uh, right, and uh, this is the last chance, so do take advantage. Uh, family and estate will is down to 59 pounds from 139 pounds. Uh, lasting power of attorney down from 325 pounds to 179 pounds. And a will and lasting power of attorney from 464 pounds right down to 199 pounds. Uh, you've also got a free gift with that as well. Lots of people asking about that. Uh, the lovely uh, leather wallet, of course, the notebook and the pen. Now, you've got four flexible payments on every single one of these if you so choose to go for them. And, of course, those fantastic savings. You can call the lovely team right now, 0333 600 to 600. They are very busy, so you can also text the word WILL to 66777. And, uh, of course, somebody will call you back. Do bear with them, though, because this has resonated with lots of you uh, tonight. Now, uh, you'll be back with us, of course, in the new year. We'll be looking forward to that. Last time again to get those fantastic offers. Can I yep. just say thank you so much, not for this show, but for all the shows that you've done with us so far, because so many more people have had their eyes opened, have uh, taken advantage of your offers, and I think be more educated yeah. about wills and lasting power of attorney. So. so thank you so, so very much. Thank you, uh, thank you to at home for joining us on the show as well. Um, I know it's very, very busy on the phone lines, but uh, do give them a call or text the word will. Thank you for joining us and uh, do make that selfless act right now. You take care now. Bye-bye.